How do I add random variations, or noise, to data in Pasco Capstone? We sometimes have instructors ask how they could add a little bit of random noise to data sets that already exist, presumably to distribute to students and have them each do a slightly different analysis. We're going to use the calculator to add some noise to this data, which is force versus time data collected from a wireless force sensor. I'll open the calculator, and I'll create a new calculation. I'll call it F noisy, and that's going to be equal to the input from the force sensor, those are the force measurements directly from the sensor, and I'll add to that some randomness. Under the special menu, you'll see that there is a random function, and if you look down here as I hover over random, you'll see that this random function will return a value between 0 and 1. So I'll click to add that to my definition, and I'll describe the units as n for newtons, which allows me to come over to the graph and add a similar measurement of my f noisy. So, the actual force data here is in blue, and kind of in greenish blue is the noisy data. You'll notice a few things. One is it's uh, fairly noisy. It's added between 0 and 1, um, and that's fairly large given the scale of my force data. And also it's shifted upward because, of course, it's going to be positive it's, if it's between 0 and 1. So here's a trick for modifying that. If I come over to the calculator, I am going to shift over these random values so that they are both negative and positive. I'll subtract off half. That will give me a value between negative 0.5 and positive 0.5. And I will also divide by 0 0.5 so that it's rescaled to return values from negative 1 to positive 1. I'll also multiply that by something I'll call a noise factor. And when I hit enter, it asks me what the noise factor is. This is going to be a value that will allow me to quickly define the magnitude of the noise, and it will basically be a value that will uh, give the maximum range of noise. So if I wanted to add, uh, say, half a newton, add or subtract half a newton of noise to this noisy force data, I'll hit 0 0.5 and hit enter. And now you can see it varies up and down by up to 0.5. If I wanted the noise to be smaller, I could define noise factor as, say, 0.1, and I get a little less noise. Now it's important to note that this random function recalculates every time this line is reevaluated. So if I click on that line and hit accept, you'll notice that every time this recalculates, it gets a different noise value for each of the data points. Now this recalculation automatically happens when this file is reopened. So if I were to save this file and reopen it, every person who reopens it would get a different distribution of noisy force data.